Welcome to this series on mastitis in Dairy Cows brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. This video is a good milking practice 3, checking for and treating mastitis. Mastitis is the infection of the milk producing gland, the udder. Bacteria invade the teat end via the teat canal and cause an infection. Mastitis is a fight between bacteria invading the udder and the cow fighting the infection. The early detection and treatment of mastitis is important to reduce damage to the glands that produce milk and to stop the bacteria spreading from cow to cow. Checking for mastitis. Before starting, the milker should look and fill all four quarters for changes in the udder. A strip cup should be used to check for mastitis in each quarter before milking starts. The first milk should be stripped into the strip cup to check for clots or mastitis. If there is a case of mastitis, the milker should keep the mastitis milk separate from the good milk. Treating for mastitis. The first step is complete milking of the affected cow the milk must be discarded properly. By milking the cow as often as po possible, preferably every two hours, at least three times a day, bacteria and dead cells are removed from the udder. This helps take away the infection. Appropriate drug treatment is usually direct intramammary infusions of the special antibiotic tubes prepared for the treatment of mastitis twice a day for three consecutive milkings or as directed. After milking the mastitis affected cows, the teeth should be cleaned and disinfected and treated with the drugs. For this, the treatment tube cup is removed, the tip inserted into the teeth and the drugs infused. Where a cow is visibly ill, consult a veterinarian for additional treatment like antibiotic injections or anti-inflammatory drugs to stop inflammation and reduce the pain. Read the manufacturer's leaflets for all veterinary drugs used in dairy cattle concerning withdrawal periods for human consumption. Milk cannot be used for human consumption for several days after treatment. Do not mix such milk with milk from healthy cows. Record the date, the cow name or number, and which teat is affected. For example, FL for front left. So that if the mastitis happens again, you will then know whether it's a repeat problem and how many cases you're getting per year. So that you can compare with other farmers in your area or cooperative.